Implants are the best way to uh, replace missing teeth and, and, and have a natural, beautiful smile. Uh, and uh, implants have a very high success rate, 97, 98% long-term success rate. And uh, while that data is true, uh, there can be failures and there can be complications. So, uh, you know, let's talk about some of those reasons uh, of why that happens. The number one reason is, uh, you know, lack of experience on the uh, doctor's side. So it's important that, you know, you choose a doctor that has experience, has that specialized training. Uh, you know, no nowadays, you know, there are companies out there, unfortunately, that may just uh, offer a weekend course. And, you know, there's no way that you could do a weekend course and be, you know, come back on Monday and be ready to place implants. The number two reason uh, for implants uh, failing. Uh, could be that you know patients travel elsewhere outside of the U.S. and they come in and you know when we do our imaging we just see you know bone loss and things not being done uh, you know like they should have been. If someone is cutting costs, well it comes at a cost, uh, and that's because it's a uh, you know cheaper material and, uh, and and things just break down. One of the other concerns is you know when you get treatment like this, you need to be able to maintain and be able to have follow-ups, right? Um, and it, like implants are 98% successful, but that means a few can fail, right? And if that happens, are you now going to be able to travel back to that same surgeon? Or if it's a local surgeon that has the training, is it easy enough to just go back to them and uh, they will be able to correct whatever needs to be done. So number three reason is not utilizing the available technology. I'm not saying that we need to have the most advanced technology. Uh, we have robotics, it doesn't mean that's a necessity per se, but you know, with me, I would say standard of care and what is a necessity, if we're doing a dental implant, we need to have a CBCT, which is a bone scan. Uh, I don't do a single implant without taking a CBCT, and it's a mistake to do so because every patient's anatomy is a little bit different. And uh, there's no way that I want to be in a surgery without knowing what I'm getting into. And that's not, you know, if I did that, it wouldn't be fair to the patient either, as opposed to just eyeballing it. Uh, so if these basic, technology components are not in place at a, at a place that you visit, uh, I would be very cautious uh, because to me, this is standard of care. So, you know, if you have any more questions or, you know, concerns about why implants fail and, and how you can minimize your risk for that, uh, we ask you to come in to, and give us a call at Columbia Center for Implants and Periodontics and, you know, my entire team, my partners, uh, we're all here to help you so that you could be on your way to a beautiful smile.